right, this is what it all comes down to. It's Michigan, Ohio State. We're at the WJR tailgate party. And who just got interviewed on JR but Rob Lytle, the pride of that state from down there. How you doing, Rob? I'm doing very well, and I'm looking forward to a very convincing win today. Very convincing. You got a score prediction for us? I don't have a score, just as long as it's more than a touchdown. More than, more than a point. A w That's is exactly a W, right. as they say, That's right? exactly right. Got good seats, I hope? Well, yeah, I think we're going to – we got a lot of alumni, ex-players back I, here. I heard we're going to go over and see Mike Leone. He brought them all yep. back into town, yep. I understand. So yep. that sounds exciting. Yep. Now, you're down in Tiffin, Ohio? Is no, that where you're No, you I'm Fremont. Oh, Fremont, Fremont, Ohio. Ohio. Yep. Not too far from not, Tiffin. Nope, very like close. South of Toledo, yep. so just exactly. far enough away from Columbus. That's exactly right. Remember what those two middle letters in Columbus are, right, Rob? Well, yeah, that's right. You will know. That's right. Well, listen, thanks a lot. Go Blue and Rob. Thank you. Good seeing you, buddy. All right, take care. Thanks a lot. Go Blue. That was exciting seeing Rob Lytle here at the WJR, a uh, uh, big uh, tailgate thing. But uh, look who I ran into now. It's Coach Carr. How you doing? Good afternoon, Art. How are you today? Yeah, hey, I like the little beard action there. Well, uh, you have to understand that I'm a busy guy. I've been developing these game plans and uh, haven't had a chance to shave lately, but um, we have a big game this week against Ohio State, and I expect our kids to be ready to play in this game. Oh, my gosh. Well, listen, do you have a prediction on the score, Coach Carr? Absolutely. I think this game will be 38-10, uh, to 10, that uh, kids in maize and blue will win this game, and uh, should be an outstanding performance performance by our quarterback, John Navarro, who's done a great job throwing the football. And, uh, is, there, is there any question about There you? isn't any question, but uh, we are the better football team, and uh, we have outstanding and superior athletes to that of the Ohio State team. Damn right. Well, listen, uh, I think you got to get to the locker room and get Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I have a job to do. you got a job to do, and you're a busy, busy man. You're a busy Absolutely guy. Well, thank you, Coach Carr, right, for spending pleasure. some moments with us. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. Anytime. Right. Go Blue. God bless your cotton picking maize and blue heart, boy. That's great. Debbie, good to see you. Oh, go blue. We must protect this house. Absolutely. Wow. Channel 10 is here from Columbus. Channel 4 is here from Columbus. Channel 13 is here from Toledo. And JR is here from Macomb County. And the, and the most important man of all, Jerry Cook, it's gonna break. is here. It's going to break. God love you, Jerry. Have a good one, Jim. All right. Bye-bye. All the security people are here. Steve is here. Good to see you. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing great. We're going to make it. Oh, we're going What's the final than... score going to be, Steve? It's going to be 32 to 30, Michigan. And the man. Yeah. It's Gary Hill right there. You can see his boy. It's a shiny badge. You can hardly see it. Anyway, so what's the score prediction, Gary? 24 to 12, just like it was in 69. There you go, baby. We know who. I'm good. I'll show you now. How you doing? Hello, Will. Hey, Tom, what's the final score going to be? Well, try 27, try 27, 17. I'll take it. Rip to Ohio. The only good thing from the Ohio State man. And they stole it from us.
think I see who's gonna dot the eye. He's got a great big old Susan on. Right there.
got to be a big treat for you to come across some of the great Michigan heroes of yesteryear. Yeah, and a lot of them I haven't met, but uh, even though I haven't met them, you know they've been through the same thing that, uh, that I have. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty special fraternity. Now, here we are, Drew Henson, on the Michigan Football Network. Would you like to make an announcement? an official announcement as to what your future is as far as this sport of football goes. Go ahead. I'm on vacation right now. I'm <laughs> Thanksgiving and to check out the game and uh, deal with that stuff later. All right, Drew, good luck to you. Thanks a lot for your time. All right, thanks. Well, All I'll right. tell you what, Jim, for, for everybody listening, that sort of says a lot right there, doesn't it? Sure does. All right, now the, the former players are out there forming the gauntlet, hoisting the M Club banner, and the current Wolverines are now heading out under that banner and out onto the gridiron for the last time in this regular season. I'll tell you what, Jim, what a scene this is. I, I can't tell you, I just, this is great to be a part of and watch. We wish everybody in our listening audience could uh, get a load of this. It's just the emotion, you can feel it, the intensity, you can cut it with a knife. It's all here in this stadium with this Michigan football team running out in between all of the great Michigan football players, all in their letter jackets from the time when they played. What a great moment. And what a great way to start this great classic rivalry out in the year 2003. It may delay the start of the ball game by a couple of minutes. I don't think anybody's going to notice or mind. And now we're going to see the 27 Michigan seniors in their final game being honored. Their parents are all gathered at the goal line at the north end. And the 27 seniors in their last game are all going down there for hugs with their moms and dads. A special moment for all 27, including fifth-year seniors in their final game, Grant Bowman, Philip Rabb, Spencer Brenton, Tyrese Butler, Brent Cummings, Carl Diggs, Norman Hoyer, Mike Hazlitz, Jeremy Lesseur, Andy Minnery, Courtney Morgan, John Navarre, Tony Pape, Dave Pearson, John Shaw and Demetrius Solomon, and each one with their own special story. Grant Bowman from Black Lick, Ohio, outside of Columbus, where his parents have had to put up with the taunts of the Buckeye fans and were chased out of Ohio Stadium for cheering on their son. But they still raise that Michigan flag every weekend and follow Grant Bowman all over the country to play football. Andy Minnery, who grew up north of Cincinnati, his dad a high school football coach and a huge Ohio State fan until Andy decided to come to that school up north. And his dad retired from coaching two years ago and has spent his time as a Michigan fan, following Andy Minnery and his exploits with the Wolverines all over the country. And how about John Navarre and his parents, of course. They have put up with all the slings and arrows that John Navarre has had to take in his career at Michigan. And John Navarre just got the biggest cheer of all so far, Jim, from this crowd when he and his family were introduced. And he should, because this kid has been through more than a lot of kids should be through. He has performed admirably. And his mom and dad have uh, suffered in silence, if you will. But I guarantee you what, they are just as proud of him as anybody could be. And we all ought to salute the parents of these young men who have traveled far and wide in their cars, in their campers, to go follow their son's play in inclement weather across the Midwest. And it's just a great tribute to them that their sons have continued on to play four years at Michigan. And they did it, Jim, like so many others, even before their kids came to the University of Michigan, too. John Navarre, who, with 30 victories, has only seen one quarterback win more games at the helm at Michigan, and that's the great Rick Leach, who had 38. Downstairs, one of your teammates, Jim, the great Dan Deardorff, the Hall of Famer, is with Steve Courtney. What a great deal this fellow to be standing next to a hero of mine, Dan Deardorff. Dan, what a picture that was. Wolverines past and present watching the 
Today's he's a hero. Wolverines run out. He's a it hero. Was really, mine uh, too. An honor for us to be able to be down on the field and form the uh, corridor from which they came. It's uh, it's Ohio State. It's Michigan. It's everything that's right about college football. I'm I'm proud to be here. Dan, one of your former teammates, Jim Branstad, are up in the uh, broadcast booth right now. Are any of the stories that he tells oh, about that 69 team, are any of them real? Uh, yeah, they're unfortunately, in some respects, they're all real. And you know what? We have formed a brotherhood that will last until the day we die. We're, we're so proud of, well, what we think kind of got kick-started the modern era of Michigan football. And I don't know what if I'd have, I don't know how I could have done it if I didn't have Jim there to hold my helmet. <laughs> Mr. Dillard, thank you very was... much for your time. Welcome home to Ann Arbor. Please, the name's Dan, all right? <laughs> there you have it, fellas. I knew that was coming. Oh, that's beautiful. He's a beautiful guy and one of the greatest players that Michigan has ever had. This guy, Dan Deardorff, when he locked up on a run block, it was over. I'm telling you, I watched him for his three years here. He was unbelievable as an offensive lineman. Now, it's the white-shirted. Gray helmeted, gray panted Ohio State Buckeyes with the red numerals on those jerseys. They're the ogres of the Owlin Tangy once again as they head into the big house today. The defending national champions on their home turf and counting on a victory here, propelling them back into the Sugar Bowl to perhaps defend their national title again this year. Their faithful are smaller in number but equally fervent down in the southern end zone, the southwest corner where most of them are gathered. Tim Anderson, Craig Krenzel, and Michael Jenkins represent the Buckeyes at the coin toss. For Michigan, it's Grant Bowman, Carl Diggs, Chris Perry, and John Navar. Jim Lapatina is the referee. Tails. He said tails. It's heads. So Michigan wins the toss. And the Wolverines always defer. And they do once again. Jim Lapatina, the referee. Ohio State will get the ball first, he says. The umpire today, Roger Haberer. That's just good, hard-hitting, hard-fought football between two of the best programs in the history of intercollegiate athletics, presenting the best rivalry in all of sports. Just to let everybody know, earlier today, the Ohio State sports information man came in there. He didn't know, so Coach Tressel has kept it. Under wrap. Neenberg's kick, high and end over end. Maurice Hall at the one yard line, left side. He comes up field to the 10. Woodley chases him outside. He's got some room to the 20, and he has spun down at the 25 yard line or so. And that's a very good tight end in Ben Hartsock, the starting running back, Liddell Ross. 
Krenzel's going to throw on first down to Jenkins. Left side, he caught it, and he's hit immediately by Curry. And down he goes after a gain of about seven yards on that quick hitch. Left is Bam Childress. Two tight ends, Hamby and Hartsock, both wide side right. Counter play right. Ross breaks a tackle at the line and fights for a couple of yards out to the 29. He got through Ernest Chazor, and it was Grant Bowman who finally wrapped him up. The single setback again. It's Liddell Ross on third and two. Krenzel's going to throw. He fires out in the right flat to Hartsock. He's wrapped up immediately at the line of scrimmage by Ernest Chazor, who would not let him get away. It's fourth down. Ohio State will have to punt. Line of scrimmage is the 34. The snap, a good one. And the kick got away. Avant almost broke through. Breston awaits this high spiral. Grabs it on the 23. Spins it away from one man, but a knee went down. And they'll rule him down at the 23. To the left. And now Dudley in motion right. They're going to blitz on first down. Navarre to throw. He fires short through the hands of Massacoy and intercepted on a dive by Gamble, but they rule that ball hit the ground. Oh, man, was that close. Navarre did a good job. He wanted to throw quickly to the left to Braylon Edwards, but he was covered. He looked back. He had Massacoy open, flipped it to him, and it went right through his hands. Nobody in the backfield. Navarre to throw on second and 10. Right flat. He fires to Perry. Got it. Turns it upfield to the 30. Tries to spin through a tackle. Dustin Fox, the corners, got him. Spins him out of bounds on the 31. That'll be a game. Third and two. Navarre turns. Gives to Perry. He's knifing his way through the middle. He's got a hole over the 35 to the 36. First down, Michigan. Chris Perry running hard. Nate Sally up from the secondary to make the stop. Michigan's first running play results in a five-yard game. Houston, Calvin Bell, Braylon Edwards, the others. Navarre to throw. Looking. Fires short. Avance got it. Wrapped up immediately at the 40 by Robert Reynolds, the strong side linebacker. And Avance hurt. Avance. Now Jason Avant, who made that remarkable touchdown grab last week at Northwestern, has just been coming on as the season's gone along and has gotten better and better. Showing five at the line, showing blitz. Now they back out, go to a zone. Krenzel rolling right to throw, being chased by Woods, flips it up the sideline, incomplete. Intended for Holmes, but he was throwing that one away. It's the kick by Sander, a booming high spiral. Reston back, grabs it on the seven. He cannot elude the first man down. He'll be hit at the 10-yard line and tackled right there. It was the uh, corner, Chris Gamble, who got down in a hurry and would not let Preston get away. They're going to mark him at the 11. Right, there goes Edwards in motion that way. He stops, comes back. And a little delay. Here comes Perry up the middle. Hit from behind, breaks the tackle. Up to the 15. He gets to the 18 or 19-yard line. Dropped by Will Allen and Nate Sally, the two tackles. Good run by Chris Perry. Eight yards getting out of trouble in that backfield. Puts his shoulder down into the linebacker Reynolds. And I think he's got a first down if they mark his progress to the 22. Lee Perry's the tailback. Breston standing right next to him. Goes in motion out to the right. So that's three wideouts for Navarre dropping to throw. Big blitz. Screen to Perry left. Three blockers in front. 25 to the 30. And he's wrapped up by Dustin Fox. And spun down up around the 33. Perfect play call for that big blitz. It's an 11-yard gain and another first down. Glenn Edwards, wide side right, and now Therese Butler going in motion that way. Tab to the left, and here's a pass by Navarre, deflected at the line, incomplete. He went back a quick three steps, and it was Simon Frazier, the 6'6 defensive end, who jumped up and deflected that ball, which was intended for Therese Butler out of the uh, aggressive Ohio State defense. Second and 10 on the 33, Perry's the only back, Navarre to throw, screen left to Perry again. Upfield 35 to the 40 as he dodges tacklers, and he's close to another first down. Let's see where they mark him out. It's right on the Michigan sideline at the bench. They're gonna put the ball over the 43, and that's another first down. Edwards is out to the right. Gamble's got him bump and run out there. There goes Tab in motion to the wide side. Navarre play action fake. Dropping the throw. Going deep on a post. Braylon Edwards has got Gamble beaten. The ball is just off his outstretched hand down at the 10-yard line. It was close. Bell and Edwards to the wide side right. Tab and Breston to the left. And now Breston to the wide side right. They'll flood the field. Here's Navarre to throw. Looking out in the flat. He flips it caught by Breston. Upfield he goes for the 50. Trying to dodge his way around. Gamble, he does. He broke a tackle inside the Ohio State 45 and out of bounds at the 44. And that's a first down. Boy, he dodged Will Allen, the safety, then got away from Gamble. And finally, it was the nickelback Tyler Everett and the outside linebacker Robert Reynolds who knocked him out of bounds. Stevie Preston showing that elusiveness right there for a gain of 12 and a first down. Behind Dudley, the fullback. And they're going to run him right up the middle. Jackson puts his shoulder down and gets a couple of yards. 
down to the 42. It's going to be tough sledding in there running the ball on this Ohio State team. Eight, he's the single setback. Tyler Ecker is the tight end. You got three wideouts, including Braylon Edwards coming in motion left. Tab to the right. Breston left, Navarre to throw. Looking left flat. Fires to Preston. Got it. Hit immediately at the line of scrimmage. Knocked back by Will Allen, the strong safety. Will Allen, the man who had that interception that ended the ball game last year down at Columbus. The goal line interception against John Navarre. A tab and Breston to the right. And now Edwards in motion that way. That's the wide side of the field. And Navarre dropping to throw. Four-man rush. He's got time. Down the middle. Caught by Edwards. Turns upfield, fights inside the 35. He's got a first down. Will Allen held on for dear life but couldn't stop Braylon Edwards. They knocked his helmet off, but Braylon's momentum got him down to the 33. Nine yards, and Michigan has a first down in Buckeye territory. Ten plays on this drive for the Wolverines now. They started on their own 11. Here's an end around. Braylon Edwards around the right side. Gets a block from Minnery. Turns upfield to the 30. Ooh, is he hit hard and knocked out of bounds by Nate Sally into the Michigan marching band section. But it's going to be a gain of about seven yards on the play for Braylon. And he comes out with his helmet in his hand again. He's got to get a better chin strap, Jim. Something's got to happen because I'm telling you, this ain't no place for a nervous person, as Mickey Redman might say. Down Jackson in there at tailback right now. The ball officially on the 25. Eight-yard gain by Edwards on the end around, second and two. And here comes Jackson right up the middle. He plows ahead, fighting behind Matt Lentz, who shoves the pile forward for Jackson to get a first down inside the Buckeye 20 at the 19. And they're just running right at him. This is good old-fashioned. Put the play out of John Navarre's old high school in Cudahy, Wisconsin. Rembert the tailback. He's the only setback. Here's Edwards in motion. Here's Navarre to throw. Setting up, fire, and outcut. Edwards has it right side. Gamble grabs him, misses the tackle, but got him to step out of bounds at the 11. It's a gain of about eight. He's running in the eye formation. Gets the handoff behind Dudley right side. He tries to angle right. Gets to the 10, and he's wrestled to the ground right there by Dustin Fox, the corner. Here we go, third down and one. The Buckeyes show six men up front. Hand off to Perry, right up the middle. First down and goal to go. Chris Perry down to the six yard line. Sally and Allen, the two safeties, were the first men to hit him. They might mark him at the five, and they do. That you got Calvin Bell. Massacoy and Minnery both in there at tight end. Offset eye, power right in the backfield for Perry and Dudley. Here's Perry, and he runs into a wall of white jerseys at the five. Tim Anderson and Darian Scott, the two tackles, brought him down. Offset eye power left in the backfield for Dudley and Perry, and here comes Perry again. Angles to the right to a little seam down close to the two. Short side right, out to the left, Navarre. They got Stevie Preston under center, and he's going to run option right. He's going to keep it, and Stevie Preston is in. Touchdown, Michigan. Oh, how do you like that? Terry Malone comes up with a bit of genius. He runs an option play that no one has seen Michigan run all year. And it gives the Wolverines the lead in the final minute of the first quarter of the game. Last week, we saw Preston play quarterback one snap. He ran a quarterback draw. But this time, and the key is the bar doesn't come out of the game. They set him up and they run option and Preston, the quarterback in high school, does the rest. And he was an option quarterback, remember, in high school. Jared Rivas, extra point try in the air. It is good. Michigan goes 89 yards in a remarkable 18 plays. And with 39 seconds to go in the first quarter, Michigan 7, Ohio State nothing. He's on the far side, Roy on the near side. Troy Neenberg to kick it away. 39 seconds left, first quarter, 7-0 Michigan. Neenberg's kick, high end over end and deep. Maurice Hall from the one, left side. Up the numbers to the 15, to the 20, out to the 25, and that's where he's going down. Del Ross, who was injured earlier, back in at tailback. For Michigan, Jeremy Van Alstein checks in at defensive end now. Here's a play-action fake. Krenzel to throw. Wants to go deep down the middle. He does, and he overthrows Jenkins, who was open. There was a mix-up in the coverage. Jeremy Lasour turned around and looked like he was trying to hand it off to Ernest Shazor, wasn't he? He was. Shazor. The only setback now is Brandon Joe, the fullback. They're going to hand it to him. Up the middle to the 30. Up to the 35-yard line. Eight yards for Brandon Joe on only his 13th carry of the year. The big birth. When we come back in a moment, 7-0 Michigan after one period. You're listening to Michigan football. 
They got three tight ends in the ball game. The single setback, Joe. And Krenzel's going to hand it to Joe, and he's going to be stacked up around the line. And he's not going to get the first down. He was hit first in there by Carl Diggs, who shot through the gap. Wherever you want to go. They're to. not bad on place kickers either. No, that's true. First down, Michigan. Perry is in there in the I formation. A little delay up the middle. Over the 30. Oh, he's just tripped up with open field in front of him. Chris Perry falls forward at the 36. He nearly went all the way. It was Nate Sally who saved a touchdown. And with 56 yards rushing, that's five more than Ohio State allows per game this year. Perry in the eye play action fake. Look out, they're blitzing off the corner. Navari eludes it, throws down the middle. The ball's tipped once, twice, and falls incomplete. Eight. Six, they've got three wideouts now. Tab to the left along with Edwards, who comes in motion right. Breston also set right. Back goes John Navar to throw. Setting up, goes down the middle. Edwards on a crossing route at the 50. Breaks the tackle, he's on his way. 40, 30, Braylon Edwards is gone. 10, 5, touchdown, Michigan. 64 yards, John Navar to Braylon Edwards. And it's 13 to nothing. Rivas extra point is right down State Street. 13-33 left in the first half. Michigan 14. Ohio State nothing after 74 yards in three plays. And from host communications, you're listening to the Michigan Sports Network. Nice touch by Braylon Edwards. Well, they're playing for each other right now, and that's a great deal. Here's the kick by Nienberg. High and end over end. Maurice Hall will grab this one at the one left side. Up to the 10, hemmed in at the 15, and Prescott Burgett, the freshman, nails him at the 18. Now from the shotgun, Krenzel hands the ball off to Liddell Ross going to the right, and there's no place to run. There was penetration in there by Carl Diggs. Lawrence Reed came up from linebacker. Pierre Woods was in there. And Ross got maybe a yard on the play. Four on the board. Two tight ends. Krenzel's going to throw. Looking, looking on a curl. Caught on the right side by Holmes. Tries to spin outside. Lasore wraps him up. But Santonio Holmes for the first down to the 30-yard line. The edges of getting them into a throwing game, which they prefer not to do. First down, a fake to Ross. Krenzel to throw. Looking down the middle. Everybody covered. He rolls right. He's going to take off. And he runs out of bounds up around the 38. Running play, it's Brandon Joe, the fullback, on second down and two, fighting forward. He's just shy of the 40-yard line, and so just shy of a first down. It'll be third down, and we'll call it a short yard to go for the Buckeyes. Formation for Ross and Joe, and the handoff goes to Joe, and he tumbles forward for a first down between his center, Mangold, and his right guard, Stepanovich. Single setback for Ohio State. The play action fake. Krenz is going to throw. He flips it to Santonio Holmes, who's open on a crossing route, but he threw it three yards over his head, incomplete. Krenz to throw. Flipping it in the left flat. Caught by Ross. He's got some room. He's up over the 45 to the 50. He danced away from McClintock and is finally dragged down by Berenger out there at the 50 yard stripe. That'll be a gain of eight. Set up. Krenzel is going to run a little keeper on the right side, and he's going nowhere. That was almost an option play with the only option being whether he was going to go between guard and tackle well, or guard and center. Ohio State got mixed up and ran an uneven line where Adrian Clark came over and played the right tight end, and he's a guard. The punt, they almost got through. His kick is another beauty. High spiral, hits at the five. Breston dodges him coming over to the right, lets it sail into the end zone for a touchback. I am most definitely a big fan, so I was able to take classes here for a semester, but uh, I'm not really on a good pace to graduate here. Good news for you, no off-season surgery, Derek. 
Well, yeah, that's the good news. So, uh, you know, you just take a little time to try to heal up. Chris Perry on a draw, bouncing outside left, up the sideline to the 30. He's shoved out of bounds up near the 35. A flag is thrown late. Let's see what that one's all about. Steve, you got more with Derek there while we sort this out? Gonna let Derek get back to the ball game. Derek, all thanks right. for your time. All right, no problem. And Chris Perry is hobbling again, grabbing that hamstring as he comes back onto the field. The call is holding on Michigan. Tim Massacoy out in front of Chris Perry, and he's holding that hamstring indeed. But it looked like uh, Massacoy is the guy that... Uh, Got the holding call. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat first down. Braylon Edwards. Out to the right, Carl Tab, and now Edwards in motion right. First and eight, Navarre to throw. Setting up, good protection. He fires, crossing route to Preston. Got it, puts on the brakes at the 25. Dodges two men up over the 30 to the 32 for a first down. Ten yards, and Steve Preston with those good shoes, Jim. They got some traction in them, don't they? Single setback for the Wolverines now. They split, split three receivers, and they hand the ball to Rembert, and Rembert coming right up the middle again. That's where Michigan's been plying its trade on the ground for three yards by Rembert to the 35, second and seven coming up. Well, they're really attacking the two interior guys, and those are two pretty good players and Darian Scott and Tim Anderson. Well, so far, there's not been one. There's been five. Navarre to throw. He fires. Will Smith bats it in the air, and Navarre comes over and knocks it down. Well... We spoke by Chris Gamble. Big mistake by Gamble. Who last year, of course, played both ways. This year he's not played much on offense. Personal foul, late hit on a defense. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic. First down. And so the man in the sweater vest, Jim Tressel, calls Gamble over to stand next to him for a while, and he's replaced by freshman Ashton Ubodi. Later on, we'll name the AT&T wireless player of the game. Navarre to throw, first down from midfield. Feeling some heat, gonna go deep for Braylon Edwards, right sideline, adjusting for the ball, he goes up. Oh, it bounced off his shoulder pad, incomplete. He had beaten Gamble's replacement, Ashton Yabodi, downfield, but could not hold it. Now, so the benefit Ohio State. Two tight ends, short side right, and they're gonna run that way. And here comes Perry, turning the corner. He's grabbed by the jersey, keeps fighting forward, and he'll get up to about the 43 or 4. And Edwards wide left. And Navarre back to throw. Setting up in the hole with Ty. Fires down the middle. Tab reaches up, makes a fine grab on a slant at the Ohio State 40. It's knocked down right there by Yabodi. They're going to mark it at the 39 for a first down for Michigan, a gain of 18. Wabby's knocked down by Dustin Fox. Flags fly from everywhere. Dustin Fox, who had three penalties called on him last week against Purdue, was picked on unmercifully by the Wolverines in the game last year when Navarre threw for over 240 yards. He'll get pass interference called on him here, and that'll give Michigan a first down at the 24-yard line. And Michigan is picked on him. First down at the Ohio State 24. I formation, Perry on a delay, bouncing left, and he's wrapped up by the safety, Will Allen. Cool State's got nine men at the line. Navarre to throw. They pick up the blitz. He fires out, cut left sideline. Good effort by Edwards, but he couldn't pull it in with one hand down at the four. Nine right here on the 23 of the Buckeyes. Three wide outs. Perry the only setback. Navarre to throw. Has time against the blitz. Firing on a post. Edwards. He's got it. Touchdown, Michigan. A record tire for John Navarre. 23 yards out for the score, and it's 20 to nothing. And Chris Perry picks up the blitz of the outside man. Gives them our time. Michigan stacks. Not only are they running it, but they're protecting it. That is a beautiful throw and a great catch by a leap from Edwards. But it doesn't get off if Chris Perry doesn't make the block on the blitzer. 71 career touchdown passes for John Navarre, tying Elvis Kerback's school record. The extra point try by Rebus is perfect. And with 5.49 to go in the first half, Michigan 21, Ohio State nothing. And fans, why don't you go and enjoy right now in the moments that we've got before kickoff? the official chips of the University of Michigan football, basketball, and hockey teams. You know I'm talking about better made potato chips. In the cart is exhorting the crowd on, pumping his fists in the air to get this crowd up on its feet as he goes off to the locker room with that left ankle heavily taped. Yeah, we're going to take time out right here. Jason Avant's got the whole house rocket. 
5.49 to go in the half. 21-0 Michigan from Host Communications. You're listening to the Michigan Sports Network. Michigan just went 80 yards in eight plays. Post-game show will pick the local Chrysler and Jeep dealers drive of the game. And take your pick. Here's the kick again toward Maurice Hall near side. This time a yard deep in the end zone. He'll come out. Got a hole, but it closes up in a hurry at the 19-yard line with Pierre Rembert. That was a huge scene there, Jim, and Rembert just raced in from outside to close it. Jim, the last three possessions for Michigan, 89 yards in 18 plays, 74 yards in three plays, 80 yards in eight plays. They've scored on three straight possessions. Craig Krenzel lining up in the shotgun. Michigan with a four-man front. Krenzel to throw. He's looking right side. He fires it to Childress in the flat. He dodges Pierre Woods. Cuts up field to the 30. Shazor comes up to tackle him at the 31. First down, Buckeyes, a gain of 12. Playing a lot of zone and rushing only four. We got Stevens up front with Van Alstein and Bowman and Massey, and Krenzel flips it right flat, and that's caught out there by the backup tight end, Hamby. He'll get three or four yards near the 35. He is knocked down by Jeremy Lesur and Carl Diggs. Two tight ends for Ohio State. Single setback, Liddell Ross, and here's Krenzel to throw with time. Flips it again toward the right sideline. Again, Hamby, and again, he's got a short gain and will be tackled shy of the first down. Ross now, Joe, the fullback in motion, fake to Ross. Krenzel rolling right. He's going to take off, dives forward, and he'll get the first down to about the 42. He was hit by Pierre Woods and by Hoyer and by Stevens. He's got one nothing Michigan. Two tight ends, a balanced line. Ross is the only setback, and now Krenzel's calling timeout. And they've got first down there after the timeout. Play action fake, Krenzel to throw, Massey with pressure, crossing route, he delivers the ball complete for a first down to Santonio Holmes, who's tackled immediately by Lasur on the Michigan 45. So Ohio State, after that gain of about 11, is into Michigan territory for the first time. Ohio State first down, three wideouts, quick slant to Jenkins, got it, hit immediately at the 40-yard line. Michigan trying to strip the ball, the whistle blows. As leading receiver, 41 catches coming in. Kashima, very wide at defensive end, coming with pressure. Here's the throw by Krenzel, and it's complete at the 30-yard line of Michigan, right in front of Curry to Jenkins. Krenzel to throw again. With time, quarterback draw up the middle. He spins away and gets inside the 25. Kashima and Woods had shots at him, but Kren Gabe Watson in up front for the Wolverines. Second down, Krenzel to throw, looking, quick slant left. Jenkins has it inside the 20. That's going to be a first down. But Jen Krenzel, first down at the 17, drops to throw, looking, firing, and this is incomplete down at the goal line. Jenkins was trying to run a post, but Marcus Curry cut inside of him and wouldn't let him make the cut inside where the ball was thrown. But now they got Harrison alongside Bowman and Stevens and Massey. And it's a play action fake, and here's Krenzel rolling right. Now back to his left to throw. He's hit, he spins away from a tackle. Gets to the 15, sideline to the 10. And he's shoved out of bounds around the nine yard line by Marlon Jackson. They should have had him back at the 20. You've, and this Michigan defense, particularly the linemen, have to realize this is not a quarterback that's gonna go down on a hit. Santonio Holmes to the right. Out to the left, Michael Jenkins. Liddell Ross is the only setback. Now they're bumping run on the wideouts. Nine men at the line. Krenzel lobbing it in the end zone. Right side. Caught for a touchdown by Santonio Holmes. He just ran that little fade behind Jeremy Lasur. And the Buckeyes are on the board. Holmes with his fourth TD grab of the year. 21-6 Michigan. 44 seconds to go in the half. As the Buckeyes go 81 yards in 12 plays. And uh, give Holmes credit, made a nice catch, and Krenzel made a nice throw. Mike Nugent, 30 out of 30 on the year to attempt the extra point. Ball placed down, his kick is up, and it's good. So, with 44 seconds to go in the half, Ohio State is on the board. 21, the Buckeyes, 7, and there's a flag down on that. Dead ball, personal foul on the kicking team. That's going to be 15 yards, it'll be administered. On the kickoff. That is a big penalty. Boy. Well, Michigan has three. Nugent to kick it away for the Buckeyes. From the 20 after that big penalty. 
Lasur averaging over 20 yards a run back. Breston right around 20 on the year. Here's the kick by Nugent. High and end over end, but this one will come down to Breston at the 16. He heads up the hash to the 15, uh, to the uh, 20, and out to the 30-yard line, where he's upended by Santonio Holmes. So, and remember what you said. Michigan gets the ball to open the second half, and that is something I think is playing on Lloyd Carr's mind. He wants to get the ball in the second half, in the third quarter, with a 21-7 lead. And Ohio State will not use that final timeout either. The teams are already headed to the tunnel. The Buckeyes will go in first. The Wolverines will follow. Michigan with a touchdown in the first quarter on Breston's three-yard run. Then two TD passes, Nevada Edwards in the second quarter before that late Ohio State drive of 81 yards to get back in the ball game at 21-7 before the intermission. Overall, though, Jim, Lloyd Carr's got to feel awfully good about the way his team played in the first 30 minutes. Well, I don't think there's any question he feels very good about it. I think he feels real good about the protection that John Navarre has had. His running backs have done a great job of protecting John Navarre, particularly on blitzes. And that's the key because Ohio State has a very aggressive defense that likes to create negative plays. Michigan has not had that many negative plays in this game, including sacks. The other thing, when you blitz and you commit people from your linebacking core or your secondary, that means you're short a man in the back end. That played out when Braylon Edwards caught the big 64-yard touchdown pass. He broke one tackle by one safety, and then he was off to the races. When you blitz, if that one guy doesn't make the tackle, you can go the distance, as we saw with Braylon Edwards. No turnovers, no sacks in the first half on either side. Michigan with a big edge in yardage, 252 to 159 for the Buckeyes, including 73 yards on the ground. Ohio State not used to being pushed around up front. They give only 50 and a half per game. Yeah, the one thing I think if you look at it from a Michigan perspective, I think that Jim Herman would look and say, we got to get some more pressure on Krenzel. we got to bang Krenzel a little bit more than they have in the first half. That one drive, he had plenty of time to throw the football, and that's something I think that Michigan's defensive coach has got to work on. All right, 30 minutes of football left to decide the Big Ten title this year. Michigan 21, Ohio State 7 at the break. 30 minutes of football still to come. Tom Mazaway is coming up next. We'll enjoy the bands here at the stadium while Tom brings us up to date on all the other action from around the country. At the half, again, Michigan 21, Ohio State 7. From Host Communications, you're listening to the Michigan Sports Network. That's sprained ankle. Nugent's kick. A good one, high and end over end. Preston waits for it, grabs it at the 5. Angles left across the hash. Has a seam at the 20. Outside to the 25. Upfield at the 30. Cuts right. He's hit once, twice. Knocked down from behind up around the 38-yard line. That is the magic of Steve Preston right there. Fullback is... Kevin Dudley, and Perry gets the handoff on the left side. Angles left, finds a hole, fights up to the 45-yard line for a gain of about seven. Will Allen, Nate Sally, the tackles. Here comes Perry again. What a cut to his left to get around Anderson. He's got a first down over midfield wow. and down to the Buckeye 47. He got about eight yards. Nate Sally made the stop, and Tim Anderson was left grasping at air, Jim. And short side left, both wideouts right. Tab spread that way. Edwards going in motion. Blitz coming. Navarre fires quickly on a slant caught by Edwards. He spins inside the 35. A.J. Hawk, the linebacker, has him at the 30. 17 yards. First down, Michigan. And they picked up that blitz beautifully. Downs this afternoon. Perry's the only setback. Navarre in the hole to throw. Screen right to Perry, and he just threw it over his head incomplete. Well, he threw it away. Single setback, Perry. Three wideouts. Perry on a quick hit. Up the middle. Got a hole. Cuts to his left. 25 to the 20. 15, 10, 5. Chris Perry. Touchdown, Michigan. 30 yards for Perry. And the Wolverines lead it 27 to 7. What a performance by this well balanced offense today. One of the other things about this play is amazing. They have man coverage on the outside. Kyle Tapp and Justin Fox in front turned around with his back to the ball. And all Tapp did was run in and out of the back of the end zone. And Fox followed him with his back to the ball, and that allowed Perry to run right in behind him. Garrett Rivas' extra point try out of the hold of Gutierrez is in the air, and it's good. We've played less than two minutes in the second half. 
and Michigan has driven 62 yards in five plays to increase its lead to 28 to 7. And this place is just alive in ecstasy right now after Chris Perry puts Michigan over 100 yards in the game as a team on the ground. And individually, Chris Perry, 15 carries, 98 yards. Well, Perry also put a move on Nate Sally and left Sally standing around looking for an article of clothing at about the 20-yard line. The week before the opener that his mother had breast cancer, and what a job he's done. Maurice Hall takes the kick from Nienberg, three yards deep in the end zone. Coming out, mistake. Joey Sorrento hit him and knocked him down at the 15. And how good does that have to feel for Joey Sorrento, who was forced into action in the Ohio State game last year because of the broken leg suffered by Carl Diggs, who got beat on a key pass by Maurice Claret that set up the winning touchdown in that game. And he comes up big right here. And Joey Sorrento, wearing number 59, same number his father wore as the long snapper in the 1969 Michigan 24-12 win. What a great moment for that young man. Ohio State trailing by three touchdowns. Quick throw to Jenkins from Krenzel, and he dropped it. And 10 Buckeyes on their own 15. Krenzel in the hole to throw again. Pressure from Stevens. Flares it out right side. Caught in the flat by Liddell Ross. He's going nowhere. Walkers wide now from their own 15. Krenzel in the gun. Low snap. Pulls it up. Drops the throw, some heat, down the middle he goes, and it's caught. Good grab by Jenkins over the 30-yard line for a first down. He took a hit from Berenger, but held on to the ball. He's got 16 yards, and the Buckeyes move the chains. Guys, give their fans something to shout about. Krenzel to throw on first down at the 31. Down the middle, incomplete. Boy, he had a chance right there because his receiver, Santonio Holmes, was going to break open when Curry fell down. From the right hash, Krenzel up under center, drops to throw. He's got time, rolling to his left, Kashima chasing. Now Krenzel throws to Jenkins, hoping on a crossing route toward the far sideline, 40, 35. Berenger chases him, knocks him out of bounds, down around the Michigan 28-yard line. Option left, Krenzel's going to throw. Four-man rush, has time, now he's feeling pressure, and he is sacked back around the 33-yard line. The pocket collapsed with Gabe Watson getting in there with Pierre Woods, Lamar Woodley, and Larry Harrison. They all got to him on that very often. Krenzel play action fake, dropping the throw. He coming, he's down again! Back on the 42, Elaine Kashima back in the lineup for the Wolverines for the first time in a month. Got a sack, two in a row for the Wolverines end around and it's fake there the pass in the right flat to Ross is incomplete so Ohio State goes to the razzle dazzle a fake first to the tailback then they fake the end around then they throw to the tailback on the right side and it all goes as an incomplete pass it's, this is how they beat Purdue they got five men up front yep against Purdue they wound up with a defensive touchdown right. Mike Kudla recovered a fumble in the end zone that's exactly what Ohio State likes to do their defense gets aggressive Create the negative play or turnover deep in the opponent's end. And Chris Perry is the tailback now. The ball on the seven. Perry running behind Dudley in motion left. Little delay. Perry dances to the right. Cuts back left to a hole. Out to the 10 to the 11-yard line. And Chris Perry got four. He is over 100 yards rushing on the afternoon. And for Chris Perry now, the 100-yard rushing day is his eighth of the year. And it's only the second time this year an opponent, an individual opponent, has gone over 100 yards. Perry, 102 yards, 16 carries and a touchdown, and here he comes again. He hurdles a fallen body, A.J. Hawk, and then it's drilled up at the 13-yard line. Now Chris has got a bad leg. Yeah, he got hit very, very hard as he went up in the air. And at the bottom of the pile was, you know, yanking on his leg, trying to bring him down. There's nothing egregious and Chris now gets to his feet with a crowd chanting Perry Perry and Chris Perry is walking off under his own power what a warrior with that wristband that's up around his bicep that says mom Chris Perry 104 yards in 17 carries Michigan 122 on the ground against Ohio State, and, and the you, number one run defense in the country. I got a feeling you'll see Chris Perry back before this day is over. Count on it, pal. He's replaced by Pierre Rimbert, the sophomore. 
On third down and four at the 13, Navarre's going to throw for it. He's going to heave it deep. Braylon Edwards breaking open, takes it in over the shoulder. 50, 45, 40, there he goes! Braylon Edwards, he's going to go in for a touchdown, Michigan. But, but, there is a flag back at the 11-yard line. Hold on. This is an 87-yard touchdown throw that is going to be called back. Oh, my. It's holding on Michigan. Boy, he just blew by uh, Chris Campbell. Oh, didn't did he? he ever. And what a throw by Navarre. Hit Perfect. him in stride. Well, the holding will wipe it out, though. And I think Will Smith was the man being held because he was standing back there at the 15, waving everybody to come back down. Well, Will Smith got up outside. On the offense. After this is your goal, in the previous spot, repeat third down. And again, you're talking about Smith working against Adam Stenovich. This was a hard upfield rush. And Stenovich playing the left tackle got a little bit of a late start. Hell back. High formation, and the bar's going to give it to Perry on a draw. Bouncing outside left, looking for running room. He's in trouble back inside the five. Oh, he's run out of bounds, and five yards out of bounds, he's shoved further. And the crowd is screaming for a flag, but he's not going to get one. About eight yards off the line. Gets the snap and kicks it away. High, wobbly spiral, short. Jenkins up, grabs it on the 36. Spun around, breaks to his left. Look out, he's got some running room. Cuts upfield inside of Massey to the 30. Stevens giving chase. Flags fly. A shove in the back around the 33-yard line on Carl Diggs. So you can wipe out the return by Jenkins down to the Michigan 18-yard line. He's up against Marcus Curry. Offset eye, power right on the back hook in the left hash. Krenzel back to throw. He's looking. He looks. He looks. He flips it left side, and it's off the fingertips of Hall. Incomplete. There is how the Buckeyes back on their own 47. Krenzel in the shotgun on first and 20. Quarterback draw. He comes out to the left. He gets around Pierre Woods with a nice move down to the Michigan 40. And he's finally knocked down there by Jeremy Lasour and by Ernest Shazor. From the shotgun, and no backs in the backfield, Michigan takes everybody out of the middle of the field. There is nobody in the middle. Let me 26 yards. The rest of the team is run for 16. Krenzel to throw. With time, he fires to Jenkins. Near side, he's got it. Lesueur fell down. Jenkins up the sideline. And Marlon Jackson bangs him out of bounds. But not until Michael Jenkins got down to the 13-yard line. And the Jenkins over 100 yards now. Eight catches, 125. Krenzel firing again to Jenkins. Incomplete. Threw it a little behind him on the right sideline down at the 7. 13. Three wide for Ohio State. Michigan showing blitz. Here they come. Krenzel's going to lob it up for Holmes. Right corner of the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. He got behind Leon Hall. Santonio Holmes in man coverage has a 13-yard touchdown grab. And Ohio State cuts the margin to 28-13. Michigan came with a blitz that time as Jim Herman Gamble. Leon Hall got beat by a step and Krenzel who has been outstanding throwing the ball today, got it into him at the back of the end zone. Boy, and how a game can turn around. Extra point try by Mike Nugent right here to pull the Buckeyes back to within two scores. The snap was a good one, placed down by B.J. Sam, and the kick is up and good. 6.55 to go here in the third quarter. Michigan 28, Ohio State 14. Two wireless player of the game. High short kick by Nugent. This kick's going to be grabbed at the 20 by McClintock. He'll race up the left side. He's got a hole up over the 35 to the 40. They try to strip the ball from Scott McClintock, but the man who sealed the MSU win with an interception on the last play said no sir. Perry's at 103 and 19 carries. And now Navarre's going to call timeout. The football game anywhere in America today. Our attendance today is 112,118. This attendance record is now the new NCAA record and the new record. You are therefore part of the largest crowd that's ever watched a football game anywhere. Wow. That's a lot of people. Not too bad. Let's keep up the good one. Back to the action, Frank Beckman. 
and Jim Ransdell. And back goes Navarre to throw. He's looking. Short hitch caught by Edwards. Breaks inside, but good tackle right there by Will Allen. The safety wouldn't let him get away. Will station for the Wolverines. Perry and Dudley in the backfield. Perry on a delay. Allen blitzing from safety. Wraps him up at the line and stuffs him. It'll be Lee's third punt of the game. And he kicks it away. Good kick. Jenkins waving fair catch. He goes back and grabs it on the five-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Boy, you're supposed to put your heels on the 10, and if the ball goes over your head, you let it go. But Jenkins makes a mistake there. Oh, look where they're putting the ball, up on the 7. On the 7. Well, okay. It's, that's it's, where they saw it. Yeah, that's where they saw him make the catch. He backed up two yards, but this is where the Michigan defense now has to do what Ohio State's defense does, and that is... Hold Ohio State from getting a first down, and then they would get good field position going the other way. Coming alive as Ohio State tries to move it out of the north end zone. Krenzel back to throw. He's being pressured by Hoyer. Flips it in the flat, incomplete for Hartsock, the tight end. Just off. We'll watch the replay here, Jim, and see if we can find what happened. Well, it's Hoyer, and uh, underneath it looks like uh, Massey. Massey. Over Massey. Yeah, he grabbed a leg. And they all fell down. It was a legal play. I mean, that's he was awful close. He actually, the pressure forced the ball to be thrown high. And Scott McMullen very quickly gets loose on the sideline. McMullen, the senior out of Granville, Ohio, started two games earlier this year against Bowling Green and Northwestern. Krenzel's on his feet. Now he's got to come out of the game for at least one play. And he's in some pain. I don't know if it's his left arm. Well, he was he fell right down on top of his left shoulder. Yeah. He's holding that left shoulder. 107 yards, five touchdowns, two interceptions. And he's going to hand the ball off to Ross on the left side. He bursts through over the 10 and out to the 12 or 13. He got about six yards. And two, just like Krenzel. Here comes the blitz from Lawrence Reed. McMullen's going to lob it up for Jenkins. Near side, batted away on a great defensive play by Jeremy Lasour out at the 40-yard line. Oh, Sander in his own end zone gets the snap. A little low, gets the kick away. The left footer lines one out there. Breston waits for a hop. It gets by him at the 40. He goes back, picks it up on the 34. Races to his right, up to the 40 now. He runs into traffic at the 43. Fights through that tackle, and he's over the 45 to the 47 before He's brought down by the backup defensive lineman, Mike Kudla. He's lead by two touchdowns. Minnery, the tight end, shifts to the short side right. Navarre from the right hash has Thompson at fullback in front of Perry in the offset eye. He fakes it to Perry. He drops the throw. He fires near side for tab incomplete. He had to rush the throw because John Navarre was being pressured by Simon Frazier. Right. Now he's in the gun. The four receivers split wide. Four-man rush. He turns. Fires a screen to the right to Breston. He's got it. He shakes one tackler. Can't get away from Tim Anderson, though. The defensive lineman peeled back to make the stop for a four-yard loss. Max, that's it. Three wideouts for Michigan. The bar to throw. Straight four-man rush. He fires to the sideline. Breston's got it. Hit immediately by Will Allen. He'll get a gain of four. Back to the original line of scrimmage, the 47. And Michigan will have to punt it back to the bucket. 2 5 to play in the third. Buckeyes are going to rush Finley right here. They've got 10 men up front. Here's the snap. Here they come. And he gets the kick away. He trips over a fallen body of a rusher. The kick is a good one. Hits it to 10. Makes a left turn. And it's going to go out of bounds around the six-yard line. No flag on the rush. And that's a good no call because Finley fell over the body of a Buckeye back there in front of him. Antonio Holmes splits left out to the right. Jenkins. And here's McMullen to throw. Out in the right flat. Got it to Ross. He made a great move getting around the sewer up the sideline. He stepped out of bounds at the 16. Ross the only setback. Michigan showing blitz. They'll hand the ball to Ross off the left side. He's got a first down to the 21. The Buckeyes with some late changes. Hamby, the tight end, just came in. They're going to run the ball. And Ross breaking a tackle at the line. Tumbles forward to the 25. Carl Diggs was in the hole. Had him. Ross got away from his grasp, but was losing his footing, and he got four on the play. With Reed, Kashima, Woods, Bowman, and Stevens up front. Quick throw on the right flat is incomplete, and that's because Stevens was coming hard, and McMullen had to get rid of it to Hamby before he turned around. It's third down and six. Buckeyes on their 25. They're going to empty the backfield. From the gun, McMullen fires over the middle, and it's caught by the tight end, Hartsock, at the 38. He is hit. He goes down. First down. Moved it out from the seventh. 
Out of the gun, McMullen to throw. Quick one, left side, batted in the air, incomplete. Carl Diggs made a move on the ball as they tried that quick hitch again. Three seconds remaining in the period. 28-14 Michigan, second and 10 Buckeyes. Left pass, their own 38. They got two tight ends, both on the right side, the wide side of the field. Here's McMullen to throw. He's firing left side. Jenkins reaches out, falling down, made the catch. He was being shoved to the ground by Curry, held on to the ball at the 46, and there's a flag there. That's probably interference on Marcus Curry. That's the end of the third quarter. Pass interference on the defense. It's a spot foul. Automatic first down. We'll have one on time down. One on time down. So the, the period ends. cannot end on that penalty. The clock's at three zeros, but they can't end the quarter. No, the, the cheerleaders, cheerleaders are out on the field. They've got to get up and get, get off. off the field. <laughs> they got to M. They're in the I. They better spell quickly. There's C. Come on, kids. Yeah, here they come. <laughs> They're going to leave it at MIC. That's close enough. From the left half, single setback, Liddell Ross. Scott McMullen under, quarter, under uh, center. Nick Mangold, play action fake. He drops the throw, fires left side, caught by Hamby, the tight end, up the sideline, out of bounds at the Michigan 45, nine yards. First down, Buckeyes, and they're starting to make some noise. They're over 300 yards in offense as the third quarter comes to an end. 15 minutes of football to decide the Big Ten title. Both teams go to TD in the third. We head to the final quarter of play here in Ann Arbor. It's Michigan 28, Ohio State, 14 down without a fight. Hamby, the second tight end in motion right. Ross, the only setback. McMullen's going to throw. Here's Stevens flushing him out of the pocket. McMullen's going to loft it deep. Got a man open. Holmes at the 15. Cuts in at the 10. The 5. Tackled from behind by Jeremy Lasor at the 2-yard line. The broken play goes for a 40-yard gain. And the Buckeyes have it first and goal. Uh, Michigan let a receiver get behind him. And a goal line look on defense. High formation, Brandon Joe and Liddell Ross. Tight formation, the three tight end look for Ohio State from the right hash. Hand off to Ross, trap play right side. Touchdown, Ohio State. Liddell Ross gets in from two yards out. And don't look now, but it's 28 to 20 pending the extra point. drive of the game, 93 yards in 11 plays. Kyle Andrews to snap it back. B.J. Sander puts the ball down. The extra point attempt partially blocked, but it got through. Oh my goodness. Somebody got a hand on that ball on Mike Nugent's kick, but it got over the crossbar and is good. So it's Michigan 28, Ohio State 21, 13-53 to play in the big house in front of a new NCAA record crowd of 112,118. Under 14 minutes to play in the 100th renewal, renewal of this great rivalry. Nugent moves forward, puts his foot to it, and he drills this kick deep. Preston's going to watch it sail through the end zone. It'll be a touchback. In for Dudley. Here comes Tab in motion now. Navarre dropping to throw. Has some time. Looking down the middle. He fires and it is caught by Tab. Oh my goodness. Tab goes down at the 37. I say oh my goodness because Tab and Edwards were both running a slant route in the same spot. The ball was two yards behind Edwards and Tab was there to grab it. Navarre straight back in the hole to throw. He's looking deep near side for Edwards and this one's intercepted. It was a little underthrown, and Chris Gamble picked it off. Braylon Edwards couldn't recover to knock the ball away from him. And Ohio State, trailing by seven, gets the ball back on its own 37-yard line on the first turnover of the game. From the left hash, Scott McMullen up under center. Gets the snap from Mangold, drops to throw. Reed on a blitz. He got away from it. He throws. Incomplete a little low. Jenkins couldn't recover and grab it. Well, the stops with a seven-point lead. Hand off to Ross. Going right. Has blockers in front. And wow. Michigan's wow. Marlon Jackson with Jeremy Lesseur cutting down the interference. The two defensive backs make the stop. A one-yard game for Ross, and that's it. That now. Bam Childress splits to the left along with Hartsock. To the right, you've got Holmes and Jenkins. McMullen in the guard. Four-man rush, steps up in the pocket. He's going to be hit. He's going to go down for a loss on the 36. 
The Wolverines got to him, and it is Elaine Kashemai and Grant Bowman who combined to haul him down. Michigan with his third sack of the ball game, and it's a big one. He gets the kick away, a high spiral. Breston back, back, grabs it, fumbled the ball on the 13. It's recovered by Michigan on the 11-yard line, and the man who saved the day for the Wolverines, I believe that's Leon Hall. It is indeed. Oh, behind the bar from the left hash. Dudley dancing in motion. And here's Chris Perry bouncing out right. Runs into traffic. Simon Frazier shoves him down at the line of scrimmage. Jason Avant got hurt earlier. Here's Nabar to throw. Swings it to Perry. Little screen right side. He's up the sideline to the 20, to the 25. First down. And he got a terrific block out there from Matt Lentz, who just got his hand on Dante Whitner, the nickelback gem, and just deflected him a little bit off the plate. The, the screen to the short side this time. Normally, you see Dave Pearson over there leading that screen. We first down after that 15-yard pickup. The ball is at the 27. And here comes Chris Perry. He's going to go to his left after finding no room in the middle. He's over the 35. First down to the 40-yard line. You talk about running to daylight. Chris Perry had to go east and west to find it. But he offset eye power right from the left hash. Perry on a delay, and he's stacked up right in the middle by Darian Scott and by Will Allen, the tackle and the safety. He might have got. Replaced by Pierre Rember. Ecker is the tight end on the right. Tab, Breston, and Edwards, three wideouts in the game. Navar to throw. He's firing near side. He's got Edwards. He's got it over the 45. Rammed out of bounds by, I think that's Gamble who hit him. It is here, third and four, Michigan on the 46. All three wideouts to the wide side left. Navar to throw. Got some time. He's firing for Ecker. He's got it down the right sideline. Inside the 35. Inside the 30. Dante Whitner, the nickelback, wrestled him down at the Ohio State 23. They split all three of the wideouts to the left and then threw to the other side to the tight end, Tyler Ecker. Perry and Dudley in the eye from the right hash. Bell coming in motion, sets himself to block for Perry on a running play. He breaks through to the 20, puts his shoulder down at the 15, rams into Allen and Sally, the safeties. He got nine more yards, and Chris Perry just keeps running so hard. 126 yards in 24 carries. That's the best individual performance against the Buckeyes on the ground all year. Give Michigan 414 total yards. They got 146 on the ground against the number one rush defense in the land. Here's Perry again. High steps it left side, breaks outside. The 10, the 5, touchdown, Chris Perry. From 15 yards out, he scores again. What a performance. You know, we have seen Heisman clinching performances in this rivalry six years apart by Desmond Howard, by Charles Woodson, and who knows, maybe today by Chris Perry. I'll tell you this, Chris Perry made a cut as he got through the line of scrimmage. Great block by Dudley, but then the cut to Bet Sally again, and a great block by Tyrese Butler in the end zone got Chris in the score. Chris Perry, 17 rushing touchdowns, two receiving touchdowns, 19 TDs on the year. Garrett Rivas to the extra point, and with 7.55 to go, Michigan 35, Ohio State 21. Time out. You're listening to Michigan football. Michigan and Ohio State, the Buckeyes drive 93 yards to pull within seven, then get an interception. Michigan's defense stiffens. The Buckeyes punt the Wolverines deep on their own 11, and Michigan goes 89 yards in eight plays. Chris Perry scores his second TD, his 19th overall this year, and it's 35 to 21. One other note, Jim, 19 touchdowns for Chris Perry. That ties second best all time. Ron Johnson in 68, Anthony Thomas in 2000.
The kickoff by Neenberg to the near side. Maurice Hall runs up, grabs it on the nine. To the 10, 15, Woodley hits him short of the 20 and stops him. They'll mark it at the 18. Michigan's playing bump and run on the near side on Jenkins. Krenzel to throw going deep the other way for Santonio Holmes. He reacts to the ball, but so does Jeremy Lasorda to break it up with help over there on that far side of the field from Willis Berenger, the sophomore out of Toledo, Ohio. Well, now stay 21. Krenzel in the gun. Bam Childress in as a third wideout. Michigan showing blitz. They're sending only four. Krenzel steps up, fires over the middle, over the head of his tight end, Hartsock, incomplete. Just dangerous throw because when you throw it high in the middle, that can get picked off. And did you see his feet moving? I mean, Michigan, Lane Cashman that time, coming up around the outside. Krenzel felt it, moved his feet, got up into the pocket, but threw it on the run, and that ball was inaccurate. And Childress, Krenzel in the gun on third down and ten. Michigan sends five on the blitz. Reed coming, but Krenzel gets away. Throws, and Lassour tipped it away from Bam Childress on the crossing route. Fourth and ten coming up for the Buckeyes. Uh, with with Bam Childress, and Lassour just gets a hand up and knocks it away. He's got safety help behind him, but that's just good one-on-one -on -one man coverage. He pressed him. No pressure. They're trying to set up a return. Good, long, high, deep spiral. Back goes Breston to his own 21. Races to his left. Great block by Bell on Gamble. Here's Preston coming back to the right to the 40. 45, he shrugs off a hit at midfield. He's into Ohio State territory at the 45-yard line. What a run back. It's about a 35-yard return after a 60-yard punt. And it was all made possible by Calvin Bell's fly. Yep, 35-21. It's been something. Perry in the eye behind Dudley for John Navarre. Chris Perry, 141 yards in 25 carries, two touchdowns, more yards than the Buckeyes have allowed to any running back all year. One more yard, he's got more than any team has had against them. And here he comes up the middle. And there's that one yard to the 45, second and nine coming up. Said is that big time players make big plays in big games. This is where your legacy is uh, really solidified comes Edwards, who's had two touchdown grabs in motion. He stops, goes back the other way. Perry, a little stutter step, cuts right. He's hit, spins away from one tackler and winds up with a gain of two or three yards. Down here, about seven to go, and the bar to throw. Has time. He's going deep left side. Braylon Edwards is behind Gamble. The ball underthrown, and Braylon couldn't get back to the ball. Incomplete. Gamble was in his path. The crowd booing. That's not interference. Buckeyes look like they're going to rush him here. Watch Gamble on the far side off the corner. Nope, he's not coming. Finley's kick, a high spiral toward the near side. Jenkins will let it land behind him at the one end of the end zone. Touchback. This are the ones who are trying to answer it right now. Craig Krenzel coming back from injury, drops the throw. Quick hitch left side to Jenkins, got it. Tackled almost immediately by Marcus Curry. Seven-yard gain, and how many times have they called that play today? Drops the throw, looking down the middle. Fires batted down by Pierre Woods who dropped out of his rush to knock it away from Hartsock, the tight end. Well, Stevens, and here's Krenzel to throw under pressure. Kashima's got him for a sack on the 20. How about the game Elaine Kashima is playing? He's been out of action for a month. He was right, gets a little block, gets the 25, reverses his field, and now he's in trouble. Dustin Fox got to him, and Preston got it back to the 24. He's got like six seconds of his time up there. 4.21 to go, Michigan's ball on the 24, and here comes Perry off the right side. Shoulder down on that sweep. One of the few times Michigan's tried to get wide. Perry has about three, knocked down by Pugich, the middle linebacker. John Navarre under center. No running backs. He fires one left flat and completes it to Perry. Up over the 30, 35, first down. He's knocked out of bounds around the 37. That'll stop the clock. 401 to go, but Michigan's got a first down. And Here you are. This thing's getting tight. You've got some first downs that you need to get. Terry Malone on a second down and long calls a pass play, and Navarre is right on top of it. Now, over 200 yards total offense. First down at the 37. Under four minutes to go. Here comes Perry. Breaks one tackle at the line. He fights up to the 39-yard line. Greens come to the sideline offensively, and Braylon Edwards urges the crowd to get into it. And they respond. Guys up front. No sacks by Ohio State, which came into the game with 35 on the air. 
Navarre gives it to Perry on third and five. Up the middle, they plug it up. He's going to get to the 44 and be stopped about two yards shy. Mike Feasy and son Sam today enjoying the action. Michigan going into their tight punt formation now. Jenkins. They know Ohio State's going to try to block it. Finley with a quick step, kicks it away. A low one that will bounce at the 30. Won't be returned by Jenkins. This will roll inside the 20. Shazor and Tab are down there at the 18 to watch the ball roll dead with 2.28 left. The Buckeyes trail 35-21. Michigan leads by two touchdowns. Ohio State's got its work cut out now. 148 seconds away from its 41st Big Ten Championship. Craig Krenzel and the Buckeyes, the defending national champions. And now it is not Krenzel, it's Scott McMullen coming out to run the show from the gun. He's got five receivers split wide. you got to believe that injury was hurting Krenzel. Yep. Or he re-injured it on that last sack. McMullen to throw, right side. He completes it out there to Holmes, breaking outside at the 30. Shazor and McClintock chase him out of bounds. Another missed tackle allowed Holmes to get a first down out around the 35 and to stop the clock with 2.21 to and, go. And one of the keys again, and this is where you, you've got to out of bounds. Then going with that nickel defense, Leon Hall is out there as the fifth back. McMullen out of the gun, looking right. Flips it in the flat. It's caught by Roy Hall, and he broke a tackle around the 40-yard line by Lawrence Reed. He got up close to the first down mark. Mullen setting up, looking right. Swings it in the flat. It's caught out there by Bam Childress, and he's bammed out of bounds by Leon Hall, but that stops the clock with two minutes left. The ball the three-man rush and cover with eight. They lead 35-21. Two minutes to go. Ohio State, no timeouts. Michigan will drop eight men in coverage. McMullen looking, firing short right, caught by Holmes. He's trying to get out of bounds. He does in the grasp of Hall at the 45. They're going to give him a first down. In there, Jackson's in. Berenger, Hall, Curry, Lasur, Shazor. McMullen to throw. He's looking left. He fires into traffic. It's tipped. Intercepted by Shazor. Ernest back up to the 35. Goes down. That'll do it. Ernest Chazor comes up with Michigan's first turnover, and the Wolverines are going to win their 41st Big Ten Championship in the 100th renewal of the rivalry that we so fondly call the game. 35-21 Michigan, 1.44 to go, and Ohio State is out of timeout. Frank, it's been great to be along with you for this great ride, Michigan-Ohio State 2003. And how important for the defense to come up with the play they needed to put the game away. Marcus Curry tipped it. Ernest Chazor picked it off. Now Navarre goes to a knee at the 32. And the clock starts running. 1.35 to go, and it's running down. And the Wolverines faithful are on their feet in the big house. Just listen to this gathering. Listen to them cheer. Remaining as Navarre comes under center. Gets the snap as the play clock winds down with one minute to go. Me, one more time will do it. And Michigan defeated Ohio State and won the Big Ten Championship outright for the first time in six years. Gabe Watson holding a rose on the sideline. The fists are pumping as the Wolverines realize they have this one now in their grasp. 25 seconds, Navarre gets the snap to the knee. He gets up, raises his arm to the ball. The Wolverines off the field. Braylon Edwards, double backflip. The clock winds down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And Michigan has won the Big Ten title. John LeBarre has the game of a lifetime to put his signature on a great career.
and he's downstairs somewhere in the pile with Steve Smith. Johnny Navar coming into this game. A lot of people saying this is the defining moment of the Michigan Wolverine. You throw up 278 yards. You are a Big Ten champion, my friend. How's it feel? It feels great. It's been a long time. And one of my big goals, man. And, uh, it's, good to, it's good to be here. It's good to celebrate with my team. And you go back, Johnny, and look at this season and what transpired in Minneapolis. Down by three touchdowns going into the fourth quarter. You guys knew you had to run the table after that game against a pretty damn good football team. And you guys responded big. And this team, that shows how this team fights and, uh, and how well. Quickly, Johnny, I don't know if you know it, you're the only Michigan quarterback to throw for 3,000 yards. Congratulations, Johnny. John Navarro making his way uh, into the throng of people there, Frank. What yep. Well, the, I'll tell you what, it was one for the ages. The student section is emptying onto the field. The band is out celebrating with the Wolverines, have their helmets off, are raising them high. This team that came into the season with such great promise that stuck its toe on the road at Oregon and then a few weeks later again at Iowa and then seemed to see all of its dreams dashed after three quarters at the Metrodome when they trailed by 21 points and that is when John Navarre and Chris Perry took this team on their shoulders and brought them back with that 31-point fourth quarter at Minnesota. And the Wolverines have indeed won the table, capping it off with this thrilling win over the defending national champion, Ohio State Buckeyes. After everybody tried to put the pressure on John Navarre and tried to put the pressure on Lloyd Carr, who incidentally is now 6-3 and three against Ohio State, and is now 14 and three against top 10 opponents in his career. Can we have enough of those stories that it's the most important game of Lloyd's career? Can we now give this man his due alongside the likes of Schembechler and Chrysler and the rest in Michigan history as one of the all time greats? And we don't want to leave out Yost and we don't want to leave out Abby. We don't want to leave out any of them. But Lloyd Carr deserves mention along with the names of all the great coaches who have been here at Michigan as he and his Wolverines slowly make their way through the throng of students and band members toward the Eastern Tunnel. Helmets held high after beating Ohio State by the final score of 35 to 21 to win the outright Big Ten title for the first time since 97, and to win it overall for the 41st time in Michigan history. What a game it was, and we've got a lot more to follow. Michigan assured of no worse than a Rose Bowl berth after locking up the Big Ten championship, beating Ohio State 35 to 21. From Host Communications, you're listening to the Michigan Sports Network.
best damn band in the land from the Michigan Marching Band. It's the best damn band in the land, Art Volo, for the University of Michigan here. And we are after the game with my friends who came in from out of town. Here, follow me over here, JR. You won't believe it. Catch this sign here. Go Blue, Max's Corner since 1974. They've been right here on this corner. They own it. How are you, Max? I'm fine, Hi, Art. How Thank you. Feel, you. Huh? Like how I you played feel? the game? <laughs> I'm tired. You're tired? I'm tired. I can't say I'm any less tired myself. What an ending, huh? 35-21, unbelievable. Unbelievable. That was great. I was kind of hoping to be a shutout. Weren't you thinking 21 to nothing there? At the, uh, no, no. Well, I, want, I want him to have at least seven points. At least seven points. All right. So we could hammer him. Wow. And your son here is JR. How are you doing, Art? I'm doing good, JR. Of course, you got those great call letters in your name Absolutely. of the station that I'm affiliated with, of course. WJR. WJR. You see right on the shirt. Here and uh, so, what did you think? Was that what you predicted? I, I feel like a Big Ten champion. Yeah, well, you should. You no. should. We have uh, we have also uh, here a superstar model hey, of no. the front of all the magazines, <laughs> uh, Dan Blaggage from Chicago, and Dan's been, of course, you see him in all these GQ ads and all that stuff. Well, he's he's here. What's the, how many games is this for you this year? I don't know, man. Like 15 at 15. least. 15. No, this is your second game. You've always been. Oh, here this for year. Wins. I yeah. thought you were talking about overall. Overall, yeah. about 15. this year's second one. Yeah. Right. And Craig, you're also you're a, uh, from Canada, yeah. and you've been on the cover of a dozen magazines. And what did you think? Your first time, huh? It was the best game I've ever seen. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> it's the first. We first, proved we're the best a, team in the nation. Well, I think it's not where you start; it's where you finish. <laughs> That's all we, I gotta say. There we go. Well, listen, it's been a great big, as Bob Buford would say, Michigan season, a Michigan win. It's just been fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed these games all season long. We've been bringing it to you here in condensed form, and we'll be at the Rose Bowl, I guarantee you. I'm Art Volo for the University of Michigan, and with J.R. Ruthing behind the camera. Thanks, J.R. He's been real good luck for us for the last three games that he was here for. Take care. Go Blue. Go Blue. Go Blue. Go Blue. Go Blue. Go Blue. I did. Go Blue.